Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. The ocean is a dangerous place. Animals have to continuously adapt to survive. Sharks have been around for over 400 million years and have had a lot of time to adapt to their environment and lifestyles. Some of these adaptations have rendered sharks downright bizarre, from the shark with the biggest mouth to one with a saw on its head. Here are 10 most rare shark species hidden in the oceans. Number. 10. The Goblin Shark If there's at least one thing you don't want to come across while diving in the ocean, it's a goblin shark. But to meet one, you should be ready to dive at least 3,000 feet within the deep. So a real-life encounter with a living one in the waters is next to impossible. But less than 50 of them have been spotted in major oceans of the world, particularly by paleagic longlines and cameras. If not for those things, we'd never know they exist. And to date, no one knows how they survived at such depths and how they reproduced because a pregnant female has never been caught. As for the looks, goblin sharks are so ugly that many people call them the family's ugly duckling. And with a freaky long nose, an extendable mouth, plus a see-through skin that reveals their underlying blood vessels, ugh, we think they're just downright gross. Their pinkish skin, fitted with two spooky blue-black eyes, would make most people pray they always remain hidden in the deep, never to be seen in the light of day. Number 9. Basking Shark The large and monstrous basking shark can grow to more than 10 meters long, making it the second largest fish in the ocean. It has a huge mouth that can span more than a meter wide. Despite its ferocious appearance, the basking shark is a type of filter-feeding shark and mainly feeds on plankton. It swims with its mouth wide open and catches whatever goes into it. When water passes through its gills, the spines of the gill rakers separate the plankton from the water. The shark then closes its mouth, pumps water through its gills, each year it sheds and regrows its gill rakers. The basking shark is a migratory fish. They can be found traveling through the Mediterranean Sea, the Pacific Ocean, and the Atlantic Ocean, the Sea of Japan, near New Zealand, and southern Australia, and usually travel in groups of about 100. Its name comes from its habit of swimming very close to the surface with its dorsal fin out of the water. To bask means to laze in the sun. Number 8. The Angel Shark can a shark be an angel? Well, we'll leave that for you to chew on. But in this case, we don't mean the shark with wings plus a halo on its back. Instead, we refer to a very rare species of shark notable for their flattened bodies and head. Though they resemble a stingray very much, their dorsal and caudal fin makes them very different. Angel sharks have five gill slits on their backs and two dorsal fins. Both pectoral and pelvic fins are still intact, and, and all of that makes them more shark than any other. Compared to most sharks, what's unusual about them is their lower tail lobe that extends longer than the upper one. Number 7. The Dusky Shark Also known as black whalers, dusky sharks are reputed for their long seasonal migration and their ability to swim in all oceans worldwide. Either warm or cold, they make no preferences in the waters they reside in, but they're known to migrate from the part of the ocean where temperatures become too unbearable. For instance, most dusky sharks move towards the pole in summer and travel up to 2,000 nautical miles back to the equator when winter is around the corner. Because of that, dusky sharks are considered to be the generalist apex predators that can feed on many things on their menu. They can grow to a size relative to a six-foot man weighing twice as much and live up to a jubilee. On that basis, we can say they're successful as a species. However, their major problem is their reproductive cycle, which takes about 20 years to attain sexual maturity with another 22 months for a female to give birth. But within this period, a dusky shark might have fallen victim to men who target them for their precious fins. Thus, they're incredibly rare and endangered. Number 6. Wobegon The word Wobegon is believed to come from the Australian Aboriginal language meaning shaggy beard. It refers to the whisker-like barbels around its nose and flaps of skin that look like tiny fins around its mouth and eyes and on the sides of its head. It is mostly found in shallow waters around Australia and Indonesia, usually in bays, caves, rocky bottoms, and reefs. The Wabergon is a bottom-dwelling shark and usually stays close to the ocean floor. Its green-brownish skin is covered in a unique pattern of bold markings that help it camouflage perfectly in the sand. 
The wobegon has poor eyesight and only hunts at night. Even as it hunts, it moves sluggishly, dragging its flat body along the seabed like a carpet. Number 5. The Sharp-Nosed Seven-Gill Shark Given that the sharp-nosed seven-gill shark can be found in tropical and temperate regions of six out of seven continents, you'd think that scientists would know more about these creatures. But you'd be wrong. Here are just about what we know about it. First, the most obvious is that it has seven gill slits, which is one more gill slit than most sharks. In the western Atlantic Ocean, this shark is distributed from North Carolina to the northern Gulf of Mexico to Cuba and from Venezuela south to Argentina. In the eastern Atlantic, this shark is distributed from Morocco to Namibia, including the Mediterranean Sea. It's also found in the Indian Ocean and waters of southwestern India. Aldabra Island, southern Mozambique, and South Africa. Distribution in the Pacific Ocean occurs from Japan to China, Indonesia, Australia, New Zealand, and off the coast of northern Chile. See what I mean about these sharks being found almost everywhere? Like the frilled shark, it's a deep water species, hence the reason why we know so little about them. It prefers to hang out in waters 3,280 feet deep, where it could be found idly gliding near the ocean floor. Number 4. The Thresher Shark Thresher sharks reside in all temperate and tropical oceans of the world except the central and western Pacific. But to see one up close, you've got to prepare for a dive of about 1,500 feet in depth where you can only imagine your worst nightmares. Once you're there, a couple of other sharks would welcome you. But if any other shark is it going to catch your attention aside from the great whites, the thresher shark is amongst them. With a tail the size of your body, it's rare for anyone to miss them. That tail, however, was a long mystery for the science world until rare footage about what they were used for popped up in 2013. As it turned out, thresher sharks use their tail like a whip, primarily for hunting small fish. They slap it across a school of fish to knock several unfortunate fish dead in an instant. But even with such epic hunting skills, thresher sharks are still classified as vulnerable to extinction. The major reason? They have a low reproductive window of just six years before dying. Number 3. The Frilled Shark If the video title has the words weird or terrifying in it, you'll probably see this animal on that list. We're talking, of course, about the Frilled Shark. The Frilled Shark, one of two living shark species of the Chlamydocilicidae family, usually lives around 1,500 meters deep, but in Japan it can be found, if you're really lucky, between 50 to 200 meters. After footage of this shark was recorded six years ago, it was immediately dubbed the prehistoric shark of living fossil, because in all honesty you'd expect to find that mug in a natural history museum, not while scuba diving off the coast of Japan. The frilled shark can reach a length of 4 meters and has very long and flexible jaws that allow it to feed on large prey such as the Pacific octopus and other shark. Aside from that, nothing much is known about the shark really, mainly due to the fact that it is rarely seen, much less caught. Number 2. The Ghost Shark Dive deep, deep down into the ocean, long past the point where the sun's rays can penetrate, you will enter a realm of the ghost shark. Also called chimeras, ghost sharks are dead-eyed, wing-finned fish, rarely seen by people. Relatives of sharks and rays, these deep-sea denizens split off the other groups some 300 million years ago. Even though ghost sharks have been gliding through the depths since long before the dinosaurs, we still know very little about them. These guys are so rare that it was only first filmed in 2009. The Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute in California sent an ROV 6,700 feet down into the water off the coast of California. They weren't even looking for ghost sharks and came upon them by sheer dumb luck. Number 1. Saw Shark Easily identified identified by its long saw-like snout, the saw shark is an odd-looking fish. It has sharp teeth protruding from the edges of its snout, which are used to compete with other sharks and attack its prey. The saw shark also has a pair of barbels in the middle of its snout, which helps it to find its way around and locate the various movements of its prey. Its diet consists on different types of fish, crustaceans, and squid. The saw shark is the saw shark is oviparous, which means its eggs hatch inside the female's bodies. Young saw sharks are born with folded teeth, so they 
they do not injure their mothers during birth. There are around eight different species, and they can be found in waters of Japan, Australia, and South Africa. Saw sharks can live as solitary creatures or be a part of a group called a school. Which one of these sharks did you find the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.